Hey guys, welcome to TechRite Reviews. A little while ago, I posted a review of the Nook Simple Touch, and I mentioned that it is running Android and can be rooted and let you do more things on it. I said I'd post a tutorial on how to root it, so I'm going to show you how to do that today. Before we begin, I must warn you this could break your Nook, make it inoperable, or cause other problems and I can't be held responsible for any damages. To start, you will need a few things. You'll need a computer with an internet connection. I'm going to be using a Windows computer. You would obviously need a Nook Simple Touch. And this is for the model without glow light. You will need a micro SD card adapter. Looks like this. And you will need a micro SD card of at least one gigabyte. This route is only for a Nook running Barnes & Noble software 1.2.1. Hey guys, before we begin, I just want to say I did not come up with this method for rooting the Nook. I need to give thanks to the developers on XDA for coming up with this. So once you navigate to this link, which is down below in the description, you're going to need to scroll down to the download button. When you click that, it will download a file. I already downloaded that, so I'm just going to open it up. It is pretty small, so it shouldn't take too long. It's called Nook Manager. Now you're going to need to click on that and extract it. Just hit Extract. Now you have a new disk image file called Nook Manager. To write this to your microSD card, you're going to need another piece of software called Windows 32 Disk Imager. You click on this download button right here. It's a SourceForge link. Once again, I've already downloaded that, so I just have to extract this file also. Now there's a file called Windows 32 Disk Imager, and it's a type application. You're going to double click on that. You'll need to give it permission to run. Now it asks you to locate an image file. That's the file that we extracted from the Nook Manager. Click on the blue folder icon. Go to Nook Manager, the extracted one. Double click and select the image. Hit open. Now you'll need to get your micro SD card, put it in your adapter, and before you write this disk image file to it, Make sure you have no data on this SD card as it will all be deleted and there is no way to recover it, so be very careful. Once I put it in, it pops out micro SD card. So now I should be able to select this. Sometimes if you just put it in late like I did, you'll just have to quickly restart, find the file. and it says device E right here. Now you'll need to hit write. It says it can corrupt the device. It's true, it could damage your device. It's most likely not to, but don't use anything valuable. Try and find a cheap SD card if you can. Then you hit yes. This will only take a minute or so. It says write successful. So now you can eject the SD card and I'll show you the rest. Now that we have all the necessary files to install the root on the Nook Simple Touch, you'll need to take your micro SD card out of the adapter and insert it into the micro SD slot on the side of the Nook Simple Touch. Have the metal contacts facing in, close that, and unlock your Nook. Now you just shut your Nook off, give it a few seconds. Now when you reboot your Nook, instead of your usual boot screen, you will get a Nook Manager logo. This is how we root the Nook. It can take a few minutes or a few seconds to start up. You just need to be patient. 
and while this is loading, I just want to mention again, this can be dangerous. You shouldn't do this unless you are willing to take the risk and understand the process as it can break your device and I won't be held responsible. You can continue with wireless if you want to. It's faster to continue without. Now, before we begin, you'll want to create a backup in case something goes wrong. Well, this won't necessarily let you fix your NUC if something breaks. It gives you a better chance. Or if you want to get rid of your root, so you need to go to Rescue using the buttons on the side to navigate, Backup, and Format Remaining Space on SD Card. This will create a second partition on the SD card and create a backup. It created the partition, so now I hit Create Backup. This can take up to 20 minutes, I found. You just need to wait for it. Backup just finished. That took about 10 minutes. So now you're going to go back. Back. Now you have to go to the root option in the upper right. And now there's another button in the upper right to say root my device. This once again gives you the same warning I did. While this has been tested, there's no guarantee this will be safe for your device. You should have a backup before continuing. So finish rooting already. It's very quick. So now I'm going to go back exit and that's it so now you just pull your SD card right out of your NUC set that off to the side and wait for it to reboot okay so it just finished booting up now you're going to unlock it and when the home screen loads make sure you hit relaunch not home you agree or hit OK. Now you're going to hit the series of boxes, which is the app drawer. We now need to make it so that you can easily get to relaunch every time without having to reboot. To do this, you go to Nook Touch Mod Manager, Modify Button ac Actions. Now you guys can kind of do whatever you want here. I'm going to set the quick nav home button, which is this button right here, to bring me to this relaunch. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go to the quick nav buttons, home, and set it to open relaunch. Now you need to back and you're good. So now, whenever you hit this home button, it'll bring you to relaunch. Every now and then, especially when you just root it, you'll notice that all these icons on the bottom disappear. So to fix that, you have to go to Settings, Screen Orientation, and then Force to Landscape, Save. So now, this is how you put your Nook in Landscape Mode and if you prefer it the other way, when you go back you do the exact same thing and just set it to portrait and it should stay like that. Now since you're rooted you get a few new apps like your browser and your Amazon App Store. I'll post a link if you want to be able to install apps like Gmail and other Play Store apps this does come with the Amazon App Store, which if you have an Amazon account is a great way to get apps. So that is how to root the Nook Simple Touch from Barnes & Noble. Thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe for more great videos.